32 kilobyte um, and the chip size is 64 kilobyte which equates to 512k um, block size just leave as 32 so let's make sure these are set and uh, then yeah just set your, your output file just follow the convention and just so you know this is the this is the stacked version just put underscore stacked at the end of the file name um, and then hit stack um, and that's the, the binary ready to be written to a 512k chip okay close this off now this is the flash chip that we're going to be using it's known as a 27 SF 512 now it's twice the size of the the original EEPROM, but it is flash memory and it can be erased within seconds. So it's very easy to uh, to use and reuse. So with a little dip in the top, we're going to put this back into the EEPROM reader. Tighten it down. That's locked in. Now we're going to have to change the VPP again to reflect The new flash EEPROM. Okay, so uh, this is the William EEPROM programmer. I'm going to choose the new EEPROM that we're writing to. Um, when you choose the new new ROM type, remember to change the VPP. Okay, now we've got to set the jumper settings. So we'll click arrays. Now we've got to jump these two pins up in the top right just for a couple of seconds um, when that comes up. So hold those two pins jump, hit OK. As long as they're jumped, then uh, erase and check devices empty will move from 0% through to 100. If it stays at 0%, then you know you haven't jumped them correctly and you need to try again. Let's wait for this to finish. Nearly done. This uh, this Pentium can't really handle the video studio uh, load too much. Okay, so we got to open. We're going to open up the stacked binary that we made in Tuner Pro. Once that's opened up, we'll go to program the chip. It is recommended to just do a blank check to make 100% sure there's nothing on the chip. So this will just double check that the chip is full of double F's. Okay, device is empty. We know for sure the device is empty. We can now uh, program it. So, click on the little lightning bolt for program, and that'll program the alpha ts underscore 191 underscore 3080 underscore stacked dot binary to, to the 512 flash chip. If you do encounter any errors programming, just make sure that the VPP setting uh, is exactly the same as on the program itself. You can see where the on, on label is, that uh, there's an on label on the, the actual switch too, so just make sure they're exactly in the same position. Now this is verifying the chips to make sure that it was programmed to OK. Again, if this error is out, it's probably because of the VPP switch. As long as it's all set correctly, you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay, device verified okay. 
that means our chip is all ready to go. Okay, now that our chip has verified and read OK, it's time to remove it. And uh, chuck it into the ECU. So just remember the dipped end needs to match up with the dipped end on the EEPROM socket. And then just line it up, yeah, make sure the pins line up and slot it in. Okay, so we're out on the road, this is first gear. Now we set the left soft limiter to be at 3000 RPM. So if we rev up to 3000 RPM, See, it's a bit violent, but uh, it's definitely red out chip. So I just took the car out for a run and tested out there the soft limiter. It's a bit violent set at 30 milliseconds, so um, I'm just going to show you while it's sitting here stationary. So if we rev up, see it's cutting every 30 milliseconds. It's cutting in at 3080 RPM and then resetting. So there we go, successfully changed the, the soft limiter on the, uh, the Alpha 75.